Hey guys, this is going to cover drawing a basic quad. Uh, first thing you want to do is import the systems runtime interop services namespace. Uh, we're going to need a few new variables here. Uh, we're going to need three matrices, one for the view, projection, and world. Uh, two integers to hold our vertex size and index size. Uh, vertex declaration here, an array of vertex elements, a vertex buffer, and an index buffer. Uh, we also need a structure to hold our vertex information. Uh, each vertex is going to have a position, which is a vector 3. Uh, so we have three coordinates, x, y, and z to work with, and a color, which is an integer. In our init function here, we're going to build our vertex element array. Uh, the very first element is going to be our position information. And it's located in stream 0. Uh, the position is the very first byte. Uh, its type was float3, uh, default declaration method, and we're going to use it as a position, and it's the first position. The second element was our color, which is still stream0. It's located 12 bytes in because a float3 is 12 bytes long, holds three floats. Each float is four bytes, so we get 12 bytes. Uh, its type was color, uh, default declaration method. We're going to use it as a color and it's the first color. Then we need to uh, add the vertex declaration end. Uh, then we ask the device to make a vertex declaration for us based on our vertex elements and we save that. And then we go get the size of our uh, vertex structure. Uh, then we're going to go build our quad here. So a quad has four vertexes. Uh, we specify the coordinates by hand here, and it's basically building a square around the origin. Uh, we'll give each vertex a different color, and then we go ahead and build our vertex buffer here. Uh, it's going to be four long, and we only need to write to it, and we're going to use it as position information, and we want it in the managed pool. Uh, we go and get an array to the vertex buffer data by locking it. We want to lock from the beginning. Uh, don't need any special flags and we need to lock for ver four vertexes. Uh, then we copy the vertex data on and then we unlock it. Uh, then we get the size of our index here. I'm using short indexes so we build an array of shorts, six long. Uh, a quad has two triangles and each triangle is uh, three indexes here. So we need six total. Uh, then we specify each triangle. So we got two triangles here. And then we basically do the same thing for the index buffer that we did for the vertex buffer. We build it. Need six of them. Only need to write to it. Managed pool. Uh, then we get a pointer to the data by locking it from the beginning for six of them. Copy the data on and unlock it. Then to finish up the init function here, uh, we go ahead and get some vectors and build our matrices. So for the view matrix, we're doing a simple look at left hand. So this is where uh, we are, what we want to look at, what direction is up. So we'll be eight units back. Up is the y-axis, and I want to look at the origin. Uh, build a perspective matrix for our projection. I want the field view to be a quarter of pi, the aspect to be the aspect of my screen. Uh, the near clipping plane is one unit, the far is 15,000 units. And this basically uh, builds kind of a bubble of sorts, where anything closer to the camera than one unit won't be drawn, and anything farther away than 15,000 units won't be drawn. And the world matrix gets set to an identity matrix. For the uh, run function here, we set our render state uh, lighting off, and this is just so uh, because we aren't use we don't have any of the lighting information set, so we need to turn it off. Um, set the render state film mode to solid. Left over here. Uh, then we need to set our projection matrix to our projection matrix, view to view, world to world. Uh, need to set our vertex declaration. We need to set our stream source. 
Uh, so we're using the uh, stream zero, our vertex buffer, uh, start at the beginning, and this is the size of each vertex. Need to set our index buffer to our indices. In between the begin and end scene, we make a call out to draw index primitives. We're using a triangle list, stream zero. From the beginning, there's four vertexes from the beginning here, and there are two triangles. So I'll go ahead and run this. As you can see, we have a square, which is two triangles here. Each vertex has a different color. I'll go ahead and turn on wireframe here so that we can see each individual triangle. And you can see that we have two triangles. Uh, I think that'll about cover it. Talk to you later.